if, if you're turning on the news, you're, um, you know, you're, you're reading Twitter, you're looking at like hashtag and Tifa, you're, you might get spun up about w- what's happening. Um, we live in the greatest country that has ever existed in history. We have the greatest people that love each other more than I, I think anyone has ever loved a fellow patriot in, in any country ever. You know, like we stopped fascism, we stopped communism, you know, we built the Golden Gate Bridge, we were able to stop future terrorism from smacking more planes into buildings. Like we, we the industrial revolution led by us, like this, this is America, you know, like we stopped slavery worldwide. And albeit we're imperfect, but we're figuring it out still. Um, I think we acknowledge that we're perfect. And that's one of the cool things about being American is like, we're going to, we're going to charge forward together and figuring out how to solve the next problem, whether it's our problem or the world problem, a world's problem. And, uh, and, and, and I hope all Americans and all service members can still head, hang their head high, you know, shoulders back, back straight. You know, like they got the flag on their shoulder and they're wearing it with pride. And, and those outliers, the things that are happening elsewhere, like don't get sucked into the negativity. Just, just believe in the beautiful thing that this country is and, um, and keep trying to make it better. Oh, great Excellent. words. Thank you for those words. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Also along that line, Tim, um, since you serve in the army, I'm sure you've spent some time uh, in exchange stores and restaurants. So, um, can you tell us about a time when maybe the exchange was there for you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a time? Okay. You know, the, so I'll, I'll tell Afghanistan. Um, I was part of a, a real special unit in Iraq um, that was able to take down the number two terrorist on the planet, Zarqawi, in 2006. You know, and like that, that, that task force was built with every single tier one unit on, on the planet. Um, so we kicked ass the whole entire time that we're there, right? Like if there was a bad guy, like that dude didn't stand a chance when, when there was, you know, 60 tier one dudes coming in on a DA mission flying with 160th soar, like, come on, there's nobody on the planet that can, that can deal with that. Um, and then I go to Afghanistan and, um, man, my first time out, it's like me by myself with 30 something Czech special operations guys. And, uh, and we got scuffed up. I mean, like rough, rough the whole entire time, three day gunfight. You know, we were calling in medevacs and, and ammo resupplies and, you know, the, the AC 130 that, that was running gun runs over us. There's periods of time where they're like, Hey man, we have run out of ammo. We got to go back and get more ammo. And like when an AC 130 uh, is calling you to say that they have run out of ammo, like that it's a, it's a bad time. Right. And, um, I remember really like, going back in the, into the AOB and being able to walk in and open up. Like I hadn't had anything besides rotten goat or like scraps from an MRE in a couple of weeks. And, uh, I still hadn't showered, um, still hadn't got a haircut, still hadn't shaved. And I know I was going to get in all sorts of trouble walking into the, to the shop, but, um, I just wanted something cold to drink. It's all I could think about. And I, I opened up a cabinet and, you know, grabbed a drink and I sat down before I even paid for it. I just sat down and drank it. And it was, it's one of those moments where it's like, I'm still alive. Cool. That's great. But like, I'm still human. That's also great. And, um, and I'm drinking a cold caffeinated carbonated moment i don't even remember what i drank honestly i don't but i remember it was the best tasting thing i've ever tasted in my life 